expected that I will be very fine. Anyway, thanks to Nariana Hospital, I could get second life in this planet. I am happy to have it. So I will thank all the staff, all the staff members of this hospital for giving or for letting me live in this world for the second time. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Hermela Gurma. I am the daughter of uh, my father, who's Gurma Gabrakidam, who is a patient here. We've been admitted to the hospital for the past almost three weeks. Uh, three weeks, and um, the how his symptoms started was about two months ago. He developed a wrist pain and some chest discomfort, for which he was. Uh, he went to the hospital in Ethiopia, in Addis Ababa, which we're from, and he was told to have a heart attack, and at which time uh, he was admitted to the hospital, and he was taken to the ICU, where we stayed there for a total duration of around six weeks, um, and he was told to have some uh, complications from the heart attack, where he developed severe acute mitral regurgitation, and he was given some uh, uh, medication at the hospitals, with, uh, some oral medications at the hospitals, and he was uh, put on uh, ventilator support after a few days since he developed a pulmonary congestion. And we stayed there for a total duration of around six weeks while on mechanical ventilator of four, four days or so. And <clears throat> we were advised to go seek treatment abroad since we were not able, since we didn't have any experienced surgeons uh, in the country at that time. We were advised to go to a hospital in India and we opted to come to Nar Nar Naraina Hospital. And since this one was the closest one that we could find to the airport and this was the straight flight, we decided to come to this branch which was located in Grogon. Uh, at the time of admission, he was um, still unable to walk unsupported. He was having um, oxygen saturation of uh, low oxygen saturation and required two to three liters to maintain oxygen. And we were admitted to the ICU right upon admission. And he was there. He stayed there for uh, one to two days initially, and they wanted to stabilize him before having the surgery, which was a mitral replacement or a mitral repair, depending on what they find intra op. So afterwards, uh, they were unable to have him at a condition where he was stable, since he had a pulmonary congestion that was worsening, and his lung parameters were not as good as they want uh, so they decided to do the surgery although they said that they, he was having uh, the lung complications were there um, so after uh, being admitted for around four days uh, the surgery was done uh, repair failed but replacement was done and the total duration of the surgery lasted around uh, 12 hours 10 to 12 hours and um, <clears throat> and during uh, the surgery, um, since it was a prolonged surgery, as well as um, the fact that he had some lung issues to begin with, right after the surgery, he wasn't in good condition. So they had to uh, put him on mechanical support, which lasted for which lasted for around five days initially. Um, and they had to do uh, renal dialysis since his kidneys were failing at some point uh, around one or two days after the surgery. So uh, afterwards, they try they extubated him after his chest condition were starting to improve, but he was still unable to cough out the secretions. So they had to do a tracheostomy, which lasted around ten days. So. Uh, after which now we are transferred to the ward he's doing much better and uh, we've stayed for uh, like I mentioned earlier we stayed for a total duration of around 
um, 25, for 25 days in this hospital, of which one week we stayed at the ward. The rest of the, the rest around two to three weeks we were at the ICU. And now we're planning to be discharged. He's a much, in a much better condition. And, um, and we want to also thank the doctors that were there that helped him. We wanted to thank um, the nursing staff as well as all the staff, uh, all the support staff. And um, now he's doing much better and we're thinking about, uh, you know, traveling back in a week time. Thank you. My name is Hane. I'm the patient's wife. Uh, I'm going to read what the patient has wrote in his, in his own hands because he couldn't uh, speak since his voice is very low. So I'm going to read it on his behalf. My name is Gurma Gabrekidan. I'm from Ethiopia, East Africa. I'm a, I'm a businessman and always play ground tennis during my leisure time. I had no past history of heart problem. The only problem I had was wrist caused by gout. I, want, I went to the hospital to check my uric acid level, but I was told to, to stay in the hospital because they observed that I had a sudden heart attack. Very unfortunately, we have no good hospital equipped with latest technology. The doctors back home, especially, uh, at this cardiac hospital extend a lot of effort to save my life. I was recommended to visit Narayana Super Speciality Hospital in India for further treatment. From date of arrival in the hospital, we got a royal treatment. All the staff are professional and human. They went extra miles to satisfy the patient. They, their smiling faces and positive attitude of employees in this hospital is part of the medicine. Needless to say, without professional deduction and experience had uh, of Dr. Rachid, my cardiac surgeon, Dr. Jatin, our cardiac anesthetic, and their team, Dr. Aisha, Dr. Hatish, and Anu, all the nursing staff in the ICU, the physiotherapy team, and all the, the supporting staff of the hospital from from security guard to housekeeping, as well as uh, for international desk specialist, Sana, my place would have been either in hell or heaven, or heaven. Million thanks for Nariana Speciality Hospital for giving me a second chance to stay uh, in this planet. Last but not least, I strongly recommend any person with cardiac problem to visit Nariana Hospital before having any final decision. Thank you.